the list of games that don't work under Linux and under SteamOS at this point is shrinking every single day. I'm, I think that's the thing that I'm most impressed about. How many games that I had never expected, like, not just working under Linux, developers actively saying, we are going to make sure this works on the Steam Deck. The, we have this update, we have this version, it works on the Steam. Like, that's awesome. It yeah, is causing I mean, issues in certain cases where the game works on the Steam Deck and not on Linux. Um, but that's a whole separate issue. Yeah, that was one recently. Um, it was Forspoken. It had something that they put in there specifically for Steam Deck, but the way they did it meant it wouldn't run mm-hmm. on a normal Linux desktop or laptop. But you could get around it by setting Steam Deck equals one in the launch options for the game. And then it would go, oh, you're only playing on the yep. Steam Deck. I'll let you in now. But then you also have the, the likes of Ubisoft, who recently they updated Ubisoft Connect. <laughs> and when they did it, it broke basically all of their games that use Ubisoft Connect on Steam Deck and Linux desktop. But it just goes to show how reactive and Valve are being on the support mm. when, I, what was it, within a day they had it fixed. It was mm, mm. kind of amazing. But again, with Ubisoft, it's, it's about the testing. They released uh, The Division 2 amongst like quite a few of their other games on Steam because they're coming back to Steam now. Mm. <laughs> and I believe it was here again within one day. Even Ubisoft directly had fixed the division two with the anti-cheat side to have mm. it work and it's oh. it's amazing to see it's such a different world now that you've got publishers like ubisoft now going oh it's not working oh, okay well, we'll we'll actually fix it mm-hmm. oh what like two years ago no you wouldn't have seen anything even remotely similar yeah i remember um there are a lot of game i think this was when the Steam Deck was first announced, like before it was released. Um, there are a couple of games I was looking at where people went into the forums and were like, hey guys, Steam Deck's coming out soon. Is this game going to work under Linux? Dead silence. All of, like, 10, 20 pages of comments about it. Dead silence. Not a single comment from the developers. Steam Deck comes out. Hey, look, guys... We've always loved Linux. We we can make like. <laughs> see, I see the opposite end of this because I speak to developers mm-hmm. and publishers hundreds per week, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. sometimes you know in a thousands even, just because there's so many games sure. and things happening in the background, and a lot of them are saying things like. Yeah, we support the Steam Deck, but we have no support of Linux, and it's like yeah. a, a few times. Just for fun to, you know, have a little chuckle to myself, I'll reply and say, but the Steam Deck runs Linux, so what do you mean? What level of support are you meaning here? Mm -hmm. Are you testing it? Are you just relying on Proton? You know, have you even clicked play on it? It's it's just weird now that we've gone from absolutely no Linux support at all Mm -hmm. to developers and publishers now emailing me directly like, hey, check this out. We've tested it's working on Steam Deck. Okay, cool. Uh, anything about Linux desktop? No, sorry, we don't support Linux. It's... Surely by now, you should know that it runs on Linux. And it... mm-hmm. But I get what they're saying. It's it's a single device, and that's yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. testing. And that's one thing that we need to get over as well at some point. I think... Which... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I was going to say... Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm... Hoping that the Steam OS release will help with stuff like that as well, because mm. you see a lot of comments <clears throat> about people wanting to use it on their desktop and so on. Mm. Even though there have been issues with the Steam Deck and the general Linux support being technically different things, overall, it has been a better result on desktop Linux. Like, even with those weird edge cases, like Persona 5 Royal, when that came out, uh, Denuvo freaked out on desktop Linux. Uh, but the game worked just fine on Steam Deck. There, it was like a patch thing you did mess around with with our Proton. They got it fixed in like a day or so. Um, but most games out there, 
sort of trickle down out to general uh, general Linux as well. Usually whatever they're doing, with the exception of like weird cases like DRM and anti-cheat, most of the time getting it working on the Steam Deck will give you better results on Linux. Like when they're dealing with uh, cutscenes, yeah. for example, like not using weird archaic codecs that cause issues on Linux. That's going to improve stuff on the Steam Deck and that's also going to improve stuff for desktop Linux as well. Like... Most most games at this point are just working fine on Linux, and this is awesome. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's because of Proton. It's yeah, all yeah. because of Proton. Because obviously, it's it's not translating Windows calls specifically to a Steam Deck. It's mm-hmm. translating it to what Linux understands. So, mm-hmm. basically, all updates to Proton to make games work will benefit both Steam Deck and Linux desktop. Mm -hmm. Unless you have times like Forspoken when they put very specific Steam Deck stuff in there that doesn't really work properly, Mm -hmm. but then Valve's kind of worked around that already anyway. So, I mean, it's stuff like that doesn't even stay a problem for long. Mm -hmm. And the Steam Deck has been out a... It's February. A year this month now. Oh, wow. And I believe there's only been there's only two games that i know of Mm -hmm. that worked on steam deck but not on linux desktop Mm -hmm. only two that i actually know of of notable names there's there's probably a couple more but the point is it's a tiny fraction Mm -hmm. so it's it's really not a problem well even then the games that were like that i i don't know of any that weren't fixed like they were like that at launch i it at launch, there was definitely a couple of games like that, but they got quickly addressed with Proton, unless there's something else that you're thinking of. Because the only ones that I know of are for Spoken and Persona 5 Royal. Uh, there might be something else, though. <clears throat> there's... Ro- so, Rogue Company. Mm, um, okay. That one worked really nicely on Steam Deck, but from... From what I'm looking at, it just it didn't work on desktop for some reason. Right, and okay. I don't think that was ever fixed. I think it might still be an issue. Mm. Okay. But that was more, as I understand it, an issue with the anti-cheat specifically. So it's nothing right. really to do with the Proton translation layer. Um, but again, anti-cheat is just one of those things that is going to be a problem, unfortunately, yeah. for a long time. <laughs> 